Wednesday from 7, live and free on ITV. Good evening, welcome to the ITV News in London. Tonight's main stories. The final plea to save Lewisham Hospital less than 24 hours before its fate is decided. Gemma McCluskey's brother pictured shopping the morning after her murder. Today, he's convicted of killing her. If and he's can, so invertebrate, so protoplasmic, if, so if you can let, in if his you own can personal decision-making. Boris wades in over London's fire station cuts. And going underground, Charles and Camilla take a commute on the tube. Hello, I'm Charlene White. Campaigners for a South London hospital have taken their final demonstration to the doorstep of Health Secretary Jeremy Hunt. His decision on the future of Lewisham Hospital is expected tomorrow. Its A&E department and its maternity unit are under threat because of a financial crisis at a local healthcare trust, even though Lewisham is not under its control. This report's from Paul Brand. Their final day and their final demo. A last chance to raise their voices against cuts to Lewisham Hospital. The staff choir sang outside the Department of Health where they hope Jeremy Hunt will change his tune and save their A&D and maternity services. We could get a decision now, Vicky, within the next 24 hours. How confident are you that it'll be the one you want? Um, we just don't know what he's going to decide, but if he decides to go ahead with the proposals, the campaign is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger because you can't ignore mums and pensioners and people throughout the whole community that feel so strongly about this. For months they fought the closure of services here at Lewisham. The idea is to divert patients further afield as hospitals across South London are reorganised. But it's been less than a year since this A&E had a £12 million refurbishment. And the idea of closing it has nothing to do with standards at this hospital. It's all about sorting problems at other ones. Nearby, for example, the South London Healthcare Trust is losing a million pounds a week. Closing Lewisham would send patients and money here. But MPs from all parties are standing together, saying the plans won't work. They've got more than 4,000 babies born at Lewisham. Those babies have got to be born somewhere. And what they're saying is, oh, well, they can all be at King's. But King's is already bursting at the seams. And some mothers, local mothers to King's, are being turned away from King's and sent down, guess where, to Lewisham. And it's the same with A&E. But this campaign has been powered by people, not politics. Local artists have even made this music video supporting Lewisham, each with their own connection to the cause. When I was 13, Lewisham Hospital um, saved my life. My appendix burst. I was rushed here to action and emergency ward. Um, they operated on me immediately and the doctor told me that I only had about 20 minutes left to live, which means that if Lewisham was closed down, I would have had to travel an extra 30 to 40 minutes away, which would have meant that you know, I wouldn't be here today. Now it's all about tomorrow. Save Hospital! The campaigners have shouted as loudly as they can. In the morning, they should find out whether they've been heard. Save Hospital! Listen to us, Paul, is there any indication of what that decision might be if it does come tomorrow? It's hard to predict, Charlene, but I think there will be two main factors weighing heavily on Jeremy Hunt tonight. Firstly, there's the politics of this decision. How is he going to look either way? On the one hand, you could say that if he turns down these proposals, he'll look like a man of the people, that he has listened to this campaign. On the other hand, there are those who would say he'd look weak, and there is going to be a lot of reorganisation of the NHS in the coming years. Does he really want to set a dangerous precedent? Then away from the politics, you've got the legal issues, which I personally think will be slightly more important. So he has to make sure these plans meet four crucial tests. For example, they have to have the approval of GPs. Well, 400 GPs across London have signed a petition against the plan. So clearly that test uh, is in some uh, doubt. So lots of factors weighing on Jeremy Hunt, but I don't think the argument is likely to end tomorrow. Lewisham Council told me today, for example, they'll take him to court if he passes them. OK, Paul, thanks very much.
Well, staying with cuts, there's been a dramatic development today over the